I think I made it super clear, right? I was like, look, I literally been sitting back for a minute, just chilling. Um, I haven't really been responding to stuff. Like, even though when stuff is inaccurate, I just don't say nothing. I just sit back, chill. Um, however, it's 2024. And I'm not playing no games. I'm just not, I'm not gonna let people run these false narratives. I'm not gonna let people sit around and act like something is what it isn't. So that's what we're on, right? Um, I don't care who you are, it doesn't matter. I'm not playing any games, it doesn't matter. Um, so let's talk about it. And I got this infamous <laughs> red phone. So let's talk about it. So, Betty. And I used to say Miss Betty, but I don't give you that respect no more. So it's Betty. When you start acting like you appear of mine, you in my age group, then I'm gonna respond to you in that way. Um, my, my issue or concern is literally that I've never done anything to you. Um, never done anything to your family except make something happen that they wanted to happen. That's it. Now, I don't know when it became a thing of whenever you help somebody make something happen that that becomes a target on your back for you to get talked about, dogged out, bullied, harassed. I don't know when that started or when that became a thing, but it ain't okay. It's not okay. And I said this yesterday and I'm gonna say it again. Maybe you aren't privy to a lot of things. I don't know. Then again, maybe you are. Maybe you're not. I don't know, but we gonna talk about it. So. Let me say this, first of all, I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. I love to help people reach their dreams, not hinder their dreams. Any, anybody who's ever been around me, and some people who ain't even been around me, they be in my DM and I give advice to all the time, right? You can share with me that you wanna do something. You can express to me a goal that you have. If I have a connect that can help do it, if I know somebody who can help you get there or if I can help you get there, I'm like, come on, girl, let's go. Like, we come on, come on, girl, let's do it. That's how I move, come on, all right, bet, let's make it happen. That is how I am now. Before the show, Love and Marriage Huntsville, um, I never, somebody said the bag doesn't have the 25% off showing. So if you can check that, let me text her real fast. Before the show, the bag isn't reflecting 25 off. Okay, we'll get it, let us see. Um, before the show, um, I never heard of, um, ever met, nor had I ever seen you, Betty. Never, ever, ever. Never had. Um, one time, I remember someone showed me, um, I think it was maybe, it was pictures from something, an event maybe, and was like, oh, you need to meet, it was Stormy, you need to meet her. She's doing some great things in business too. I think y'all will be bummed. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I've never seen her before. Cool. That was it. No conversation before that. No conversation after that. I, I, the way I'm busy and moving now is the way I've been busy and moving since forever. I've been an, a sole entrepreneur since 25. So 13 years, I depend on me. I work for me, 13 years. My, my, my thought, my intellect, my work ethic is how I make my money solely on me for 13 years. So, sole entrepreneur. So anyway, never met you, never heard of you, but whenever I did meet you, you didn't act like you had a problem with me at all. You couldn't have told me that you had a problem. You couldn't have told me that you had a problem with me. Never would have thought it. Um, now what I feel is strange is that you knew you had a problem with me, but you pretended when you met me. That's a problem. 
Somebody says 25% off, you might need to update your phone because I had to, thank you so much. Um, you pretended to be okay with me when I met you and I've been around you a few times. You never acted like, I don't want you around, I don't like her. You never acted like that with me. Um, whereas me, if I don't really wanna fool with you, I'll, I am, I'm probably not even gonna speak. <laughs> you know, like if I don't like you for real, I ain't gonna speak. I'll walk right back by you like you don't exist, okay? So, Betty, I've never been a hater. You made the comment that I, I never wanted your daughter on this show. Never been a hater. I like to pull women along and bring women up, okay? Um, you know, real talk, I do. Um, so let's talk about it. Your daughter's team reached out to my team. Um, they reached out. There was an agreement made, okay? At first, I didn't want to do it, but then I was like, mm, okay, 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 let's see. She seemed, I met her, okay, she seemed, oh. I think the first thing was maybe um, there was some Zoom meetings that they did and all that. You know, I'm like, okay, she seemed pretty good. And my manager, Dawn Michelle, was just like, you know, Mel, she just said you're like a big sister in her head. Y'all are both from, one red light towns and you're like a big sister in her head i'm like oh cool she seems like she's sweet cool all right okay cool let's go so after that things began to progress um and we started building a friendship now what i'm gonna show you miss uh not miss but betty um because you made the comment that I never wanted your daughter on this show. And the thing is, is that's not even how I move. The thing is, I am proud and always have been for the things that your child is doing and accomplishing. So when I made that phone call and hyped her up, my conversation went along like, hey, y'all need to meet my homegirl, Stormy. Oh my God, she's doing amazing things. She's killing it. She's got this hair brand. She's doing her thing. She's beautiful. She's, you know, her husband looks great. They look great, blah, blah, blah. That's how I sold it. Y'all, listen, listen. Let me film some stuff with her. Y'all gonna love her. That's how that went, because I'm not a hater. So, Let's get to the, around the beginning after I have, okay, well, they want to film me shooting a video. All right, bet. We can film it here, get you in. You come in, talk about, show, show us around the house. Like, okay, these are the rooms we gonna use, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool, yep, yep. All right, so video premiere. That'd be another way for you to segue in, for them to see you. Let, we can do that if you want to. All right, want to? Cool, bet. Did that, and I mean, let's see, let's be honest. Now here we are, so y'all know, obviously it worked. <laughs> obviously it worked, okay? Um, so, didn't never want her on the sh not true. You know how many videos I've shot since I shot that video and you thought I was using, using her for what? Using her for what? Anyway, so, let's read it. And let me say this. I'm addressing the person that I want to address. So I'm not gonna make it about nobody else. It's a person I'm talking to, Betty, and the person who I'm debunking, Betty. Cause again, maybe you just don't know. So let's go, I'm gonna read it and I'll show y'all. This is me. Girl, we about to have your ass set all the way up on this show, yes. What I got back was, five emoji crying tears. You know when you be like, oh my God, that kind of like happy emoji crying tears. And then I said, I responded to that. And I said, I told you from the beginning, I had you. She says, we were also talking about some decor stuff. So she said, okay, I'll get it set up tonight because we were talking about some balloons or something. Um, I said, I told you from the beginning, I had you. She responds and said, you told no lies. One, two, three, four crying faces, three kissy faces, thank you. Okay. Let me read it again, then I'm gonna show y'all. 
I'm gonna read it again. Girl, we about to have your ass sit all the way up on this show, yes. Five crime cases. Then I said white, silver, and gold, I think, because again, we were talking about something else, decor stuff too, at the same all in come up. She responds to my, to, I told, I responded to her crime face. She's, I said, I told you from the beginning, I had you with a kissy face. She says, okay, I'll get it set up tonight. This was her talking about the, the course stuff. And then she responded and said, you told no lies. Responding to I told you from the beginning, I had you. You told no lies. Four crying tear faces, three kissy faces. Thank you. So when did I not want somebody, if I don't want nobody on the show, bring them to the show. It's that simple. If I don't want nobody on the show, I'm gonna bring them to the show. So let's look at it. Let me hold it right here real good. Y'all see it? Mm-hmm. That's girl. That's me in the blue. Girl, we about to have your ass set all the way up on this shit on this show. Yes. Crying happy. Mm-hmm. Then we also talking about some other stuff. White silver. Some I think. I responded to her crying face and I said, I told you. From the beginning, I had you. She responded to me saying that because that's two replies. So she responded to that that I said. Because remember, first I responded to her. She went to me and she said, you told no lies. Crying face, kissy faces, thank you. So what I'm wondering and trying to understand is where did all this venom? I, I 